got a nasty two-step on this. <laughs> What's going on guys? It's Charles with TRC and today we are back in Denver, Colorado. I got my boy Craig and I got my boy Cole. They're from Death by Boost and they have the Franken cart out here today for us to review on the channel. Let's get into it. What's going on guys? How What's you doing? On? What's up man? Dude, thank you guys so much for bringing this out. What are we looking at here? This thing's crazy looking. I, I know you guys break necks all the time and driving down the road. Oh, so yeah. what, are, what are we looking at here? So this is Franken cart. Uh, I built this car myself 100% from the ground up. Wow. Basically started as nothing. So you didn't start with a chassis or anything like that? You just kind of was just like, I want to build a car by hand. Stencil on the ground. Wow. Yeah. That's sick. So how long did a build like this take you? Uh, I had it up and running in a year. I've had it for about six years now, so it's just evolved. Okay, very nice. Started off with a V6, uh, auto with an automatic. Then I put an Audi 1.8 in it, and then now I got the LS 5.3 in it. Wow, <laughs> dude. It looks so sick. The green and the black look really awesome. And then this, is this actual carbon fiber? It, no. Oh, sad day. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> the wing is real carbon fiber. Everything else is aluminum and wrapped in carbon. Okay, carbon very nice. Fiber. What can you tell me about the build? What exactly went into it and, uh, you know, kind of go from there. I built the entire thing from the ground up. Uh, control arms, frame, all the aluminum, I bent it myself. It's got full interior, carpet, seats, wow. uh, radio, what? heated seats. <laughs> you you do not have heated, heated seats. I either. got heated seats. There's no way. Yeah, switches are right wow. there on the dash. Dude, this is like the most luxurious death card I've ever seen in my oh, life yeah. then. It seems like a lot of this stuff is like, it seems super complicated, but I feel like it's probably more simple than anyone would realize. I made it really simple for myself. The more simplistic, the easier to work on, and the less things that can go wrong. So what can you tell me about the motor, trans, drivetrain, everything like that? All right, so it's an LS53, so basically a truck engine okay. it's an iron block I got stock 706 heads on there so I'm running stock compression uh, forged pistons H beam rods stage 2 uh, Brian Tooley racing cam okay. upgraded valve springs obviously a Holly high ram it's an Audi a4 transaxle with a wow. twin disc clutch masters clutch so it, it can support the power and yep. how much power is it running right now right now I'm probably around seven eight hundred horsepower okay. somewhere out there okay That's a stock transaxle. It's never been modified. It's still holding this power. Seriously? Seriously. Out of an Audi A4, that's crazy. It surprises the heck out of me every time. So is it a five is it a five speed or six speed? Five speed. Five speed, okay, yeah. very nice. Precision 76 millimeter turbo. It's a right tech coilovers. And then all the control arms are my own. Someone who can build something like this and then continuously drive it for what, six years you said? Yeah. Wow, dude, that's just crazy to me. Dude, that's pretty bad too. Oh, I mean, yeah. drifting, throwing it through the dirt, going off roading by accident, yeah. here and there off the tracks, but. It's still there. Besides a the cam lobe failure, that was the only problem yeah. I had with this yep. car. You mind starting <laughs> it up for me? Yeah, absolutely. Dude, I'm so excited for this. Dude, that's crazy. What are you what are you running for engine management on this? So it's a Holly Terminator. And I got the Holly Dash. Okay, yeah, I'll oh, do that looks so sick in there. Alright guys, let's go ahead and hop in the car. We'll go for a ride and we'll see what this thing's all about. Oh my God, guys, this thing's rowdy. That's crazy. That was a two gear roll. That was a second gear? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my 
gosh, dude. I'm ready. I am ready. Okay, so one of the things I'm gonna say right now, sitting in this car, the coolest thing and also simultaneously the funniest thing is the freaking key. It's a freaking Passat key, dude. What? <laughs> like, yeah, let me grab my keys to my exo car. Grab some VW keys. But you got a radio, dude. Where are the, where are the speakers? They're right here. Oh, here. oh, okay, they're down there. Yeah. Hell yeah. It only works on uh, Bluetooth and aux. I don't want to put an antenna on my car. Oh yeah, no way. So have you ever gotten pulled over in this thing? No. Really, never? Never. So let's not make this the first. Yeah, let's not, let's not, uh, let's not do that. <laughs> it's weird seeing the tires, dude. This is so, it's like surreal. <laughs> but like, I'm, I'm six foot four and I sit in this thing pretty good. Pretty decently, like I'm not, I'm not like cramped for room or anything like that. Helmet would put you a little overboard. It's so cool to see the geometry of the suspension working. to hook like you can feel it wanting to hook or brake boost most exciting things for me i don't know why but this is like just super cool for me is that the you actually have doors on this thing yep like I, it looks like it's just solid like it's just the thing and you can just open it up <laughs> he didn't have doors for a while i remember sitting in the passenger seat of the laptop and he had his 1.8 in here and when that turbo hit it freaking snapped your neck and then the laptop about went out onto the concrete oh god so <laughs> doors went on because <laughs> so we don't lose laptops but well when i put this ls in here I added more structure. Yeah, okay, and I probably true. still need more. So this was part of the structure. There was no X here, mm -hmm. so frame was just demolished. Yeah, and exactly. Added that in the back. Okay. So what are you running for uh, tile, tire and wheel setup and brakes? So they're Toyo uh, R888s, and then the wheels. Uh, I think they're Platinums. I don't remember. They're just that was cheap at the time. What are you running for the brake setup? Uh, they're actually so they're both front brakes off of a 99 Passat. Okay. These are actually the front knuckles off that 99 Passat. Really? And then the front knuckles I hand built myself. So you got the Borla exhaust on here. Is this a valve right here? Yeah. So we saw this car out at Streetcar Takeover and we have a little bit of footage from it. So uh, what were you running out at Streetcar Takeover this weekend? So I just did roll racing. I got a pregnant wife at home, so I wanted to cut it short, go home. But uh, I was running 150 mile an hour class. Okay. 148 was my best.
ever dig raced it? Yeah, so this year was the first time on uh, slicks and skinnies, and I ran a 10.6 at 147 miles an hour Woo. off a roll start. Wow. I just eased out of it. And just kind of just yep. eased into it. And then, then the second run, I, I let it eat and I snapped an axle. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I was too aggressive. Recently, I just went drifting with it. You went drifting? Yeah. So you're sliding this thing? Yeah. pounds with me. Do you actually need the rear wing for the downforce or is that more of a stylistic thing? It was stylistic. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It is all the all the weights over the rear wheels. It's a you know mid-engine car. It does work though at speed and that front wing does work at speed too. Okay. okay. Yeah I actually did some measurements and watched it and it compressed. If I remember correctly when we were looking at streetcar takeover, you have something under the, the hood of this thing. So what what's under all the all the paneling up here? Just enough to keep the nose down. Dude, it's so, what the hell? <laughs> got some tools just in case, gas tank and battery. You got the front mount radiator that's just chilling on the wing. Yep. And then you can actually see all the way through the car. You got your fuse panel right there. And you got the pod lights for, so this is, is this totally road legal? Yes. Wow. 100%. So you got the windshield, blinkers, everything. Like that's, driving one of these on the road, you definitely break necks. Like there's no if, ands, or buts about it. It's, this is awesome. <laughs> Guys, thank you so yeah. much for taking me for a ride. This was, this was a blast. I had, I had a great time. I hope you guys had a great time too. This this car is probably a good nine or 10 on the fun factor. And I hope, I hope I got that across to you guys in the video because this thing's absolutely freaking insane. All right guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I had a wonderful time out here and uh, it, it, was, it was a lot of fun. I had a blast riding in this car. It's so raw, it's so untamed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn those post notifications on because we do post a couple times a week and we'll see you guys in the next video.